Talk Show, where every fan is welcome. And today we're talking about DeForest Buckner is having a minor back injury. Now, I made a video the other day on Darius Leonard's back injury and hoping he doesn't rush and that kind of stuff. And, you know, when you say back minor, um, you know, it still kind of set up, sets alarms off because a back and neck, anything to do with like the spinal cord or back there, it's, it's serious. So, Frank Gregg was talking about it in his press conference. He goes, you know, DeForest Buckner has a little back issue. It should be cleared up soon. Something like that. And it set off alarm bells in my head. I get it. Should be fine. But a back is very hard to get over, especially during the season. We saw it with Quentin Nelson last year. So, hopefully DeForest Buckner can shake it. But it's scaring me a little bit because it's a back. And I don't care if it's minor. I don't, I mean, I get it. They're professionals. They're some of the best in the world. They know what they're doing. But at the end of the day, some of these guys are also trained to kind of de-escalate a situation. Like, they're supposed to, sometimes they're supposed to keep the fan base calm. That's kind of their goal. They don't want a big, you know, roar. And, you know, sometimes they don't always want that. They don't always want to put it right out there. So, there's a chance that it could be much worse than it really is. And I'm worried that it is. Hopefully it's not. Now it is a back. As I already said, backs are scary. So I hope Buckner gets it figured out. I hope he takes, you know, just take one day at a time, rehab, recover. Don't rush back into it. Don't rush back into it. The last thing we need is DeForest Buckner to rush back into it and injure his back much more, severely injure his back, and then there'd be more issues. You know, not just on the field, not just for football's sake, but how about off the field's sake when, you know, he has, you know, he has kids and that kind of stuff. You know, you want to be able to do a lot of things with your kids later on in life. So that's another thing, but I don't care how minor you say a back injury is. Alarm bells are going to ring. Alarm bells are going to ring in the head. I get it. Professionals, best in the world. But I'm not going to 100% believe them. Until I see what the injury is, until we are until we are told what the injury really is. So, this is tough. This is tough with the Forrest Buckner getting hurt because he is the hard he is one of the heart and souls of our defense. Him, Darius Leonard, both the heart and soul of the defense, right? So Buckner goes down. You know we're really gonna have a battle. Really gonna have a battle for this for the first defensive tackle spot. We'll we'll Dale win it. We'll. Brooks win it. Will Johnson win it? Um, Grover Stewart. I don't see Grover Stewart winning it. I think he's a just fine as a one tech. I don't think he'd be as you know a three tech like Buckner. But I think a guy like Dale can maybe take over and make a big impact. Maybe not get as much production and much and as big of an impact as DeForest Buckner. But Dale is very talented. He's quick. He's fast. He's strong. Big. He has all the tools in the shed to be a very good defensive tackle, three tech in this league. We just gotta see him get on the field, prove it in training camp, get on the field, prove it in live action. So, big, big, big news that you know came out a little bit, but it's kind of flying under the radar a little bit. I think, I think it needs to be talked about a little more, and we need to talk about who's gonna be able to step up in case it's more serious than it really is, and who do you think is gonna be able to step up? Cause I don't know, you know, I, I, I think it's going to be Dayo. I think Dayo's going to step up. I think Curtis Brooks is going to be behind Dayo and Grove. And then maybe Eric Johnson. That is not including the Forrest Buckner in the lineup at all. Buckner, you're going to go Buckner. You're going to go, what, Dayo, Brooks, Eric Johnson. You could probably mismatch Eric Johnson and Curtis Brooks. But Curtis Brooks, he was the heart and soul of that Cincinnati defense. He has a lot of talent. He's a lot of oof to him, and you want that as as a leader of your defensive line. You know, the defensive tackle doesn't have to be a leader. It could be Unique Ngakwe. It could be Quiddy Pay. It could be Grove. You know, the leader doesn't necessarily have to be the most productive. They have to be the guy that gets the team going, gets them fired up, that gets the defensive line ready and go every Sunday, Thursday, Sunday, or Monday. So, you guys let me know what you think. This is scaring me a little bit. It definitely is definitely is scaring me a little bit because Buckner is very good we know how much of an impact he makes in this defense and we do have better corners so you know it's kind of 
you know, not as bad as it would have been last year. So, you guys let me know what you think about this. Um, I have alarm bells going on right now until we really know what's going on. So, thank you for tuning in to the JW Sports Talk Show, where every fan is welcome. If you enjoy, make sure to like, subscribe, put the post notification bell on to miss any future videos. This is JW signing off.